do, I'm going to give you some ideas on some indoor cardio. I like to run up to you, let's say it's raining outside, snowing, I'm not around here. Okay. Raining, cold, heat, too late in the day. So, you got no choice but to do a little cardio indoors, and there's a way to do it. I'm going to show you get my classes warmed up a little bit of cardio. You got your basic run in place, staying on the toes, you got your basic. I'd say go one or two, one or two minutes, just get this warmed up, or you can put a little more knee into it, high knee, a little more intensity, you'll be feeling it a lot faster. Then you got your shuffles in and out, and back and forth. All that's so where you're staying on your toes, and as you recover, you can run in place again. Same thing, you can moderate the amount of time you want to do this. So you got that heart rate up. So that don't take no more than five minutes. And then relax. Another thing we can do, if you want to up the intensity, is do high knees off the wall. It doesn't look like much when you start, but after a few seconds, you'll feel it. So we're going to do one, one. Exhale as you lift the knee. You can do it in a rhythmic motion. You can do it for speed. Sprinter workout. And you do it in sets. I can like to do. You know, teach the one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That way you end up on opposite sides. I can do about 10 of those. 15, you really feel it. that heart rate going. And that's just a couple of ideas for it. Another thing we can do is lunging at an angle. Lunge, lunge, lunge. Probably about 10 of those on each side. And you'll feel you feel you get the blood flow going. So, some things you can do in your cardio. And once again, you can set the amount of time you want to do that. But those are just some moves you can do if you're stuck indoors. Thank you.